What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stand today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. So I'm going to be doing a run through of Horizon for anybody that's bored enough to watch this. Normally it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend, and matriarchs perform the ritual. But we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, were left the splendors of creation. Beasts of air, water, earth, and steel. So I'll be doing a run through for just easy stuff, really. Anybody that's never played it. I am far from being an advanced player. So if you want some really good tips, I'll probably go to another video. But this is how I play the game. I'll show you the stuff that I go for first, the upgrades I do first. It's probably my fifth time of playing it. You may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are outcasts. You by choice, and she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go, and be ready to declare. Go! Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! And so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough. And you... Blessing its name like it was one I know my duty to them tribe. and to you. Without consultation, I'm here, and wherever you go, I will follow.
Horizon Zero Dawn. This has probably got my favourite story out of all the PlayStation 4 games. Just something about the apocalypse kind of thing. Really does it for me. Okay, we go with normal because I'm not that good. Well done, that's a good boy. Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. Oh, come on. There. go. Ew, rats. Rats. Uh, both these tunnels lead to exactly the same spot. So don't worry about which one to take. Uh, so the other one just comes up there. But I can get through. Must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. You can actually come back here later when you grow up. You'll need to come back here if you want to get the power Last cells for the super armor. Like this. But I have to find a way out. So like this thing here, there's a metal flower in there, but you can't get through there until you've got your spear. The metal flowers are like little collectibles. Go through there and go through there later. What's that? A dead person. There's something shiny there. Yes, loot the body. Do my best not to rumble on over cutscenes. No promises. Oh. That's my little boy, if you can hear him.
lights everywhere. How does he do this? And this is probably the most important thing that you have. Highlights weaknesses on the robots and metal door closed. Oh yeah, I'll show you. Maybe door. this device I found can help. More lights. Mm -hmm. So we go through there to unlock the door. So there'll be little collectibles that you can find as well throughout the game, um, voice recordings or data logs and stuff, which you access with the focus. A shape. It's connected to the door somehow. So, pretty simple puzzle. thing that you can smash through. I don't think we can get that audio log until later. And I think the power cells in there. Sentence, non-analepsis. 
hell. <laughs> An exclamation mark. So if that upsets whoever finds this, too bad. I don't know anyone, anything, anymore. Just a million hit. Right. I mean, seriously, record our thoughts for posterity. Great idea, Director Evans. Like I haven't done How enough for posterity here? already. Like, what happens? I be here like this if not for posterity. I'm done with posterity. Posterity can go. You don't want to hit. Machu Picchu. Always wanted to see that. Never did. There's one there. Come back. And one there. Stupid. Should have gone. Well. And maybe that's all I need. I believe that's it. Oh, there's Rost. He found me. Rost found me. Down here. Oh, mother be praised. Come, girl. Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come. <laughs> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! No, keeping it. survive in the wild come Aloy home now and starting tomorrow you will learn to hunt yeah What do they mean? 
Take your bow. Bow? And enough muttering to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now, you're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called salve brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Good. Now eat the berries. They may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all mothers in grace. In grace. The Nora tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines, usually. Things like the medicinal herbs and rocks, um, there's a limit on how much you can carry. You can upgrade your um, medicinal berries like stuff. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. Everything else you can just keep collecting stuff, but there's a limit on how much space you've got. Um, so there's a lot of Aloy, a machine's coming. Um, inventory Crouch management that you really have to do. It gets a little tedious at times with that. There. Now stay low. No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. So when we uh, first start playing this, now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. Uh, sneaking around and attacking them is really what I tend to do when I first start. A lot of stealth attacks also gives you more XP. So that's the direction I'll go with me first um, skill points. Come back this way. And then when we get the more better move, the quieter you'll be. better weapons the later on. Is quieter than upright. We tend to go more head to head with stuff. And there's tactics for every robot. Wait for it. And depending on the situation you're in. So it's quite fluid. Actually I never think that I always thought that um it doesn't get enough credit for how it does its That's the last combat one. loops. Let's move on. Oh, we get. It. You did well. They didn't see or hear you. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. So really, for the first couple of hours, you can be playing this. There's a lot more sneaking. It's a lot slower. Um, I remember the first time I played it, I was actually quite scared of taking on the dinosaurs until I figured out the tricks for each one. And then it just... a whole Who's different that? game opened up. Ignore him. But why is he up there? Well, that's probably just me. And like I say, I'm not the best at computer games. Uh, so if you're looking for somebody really talented, yeah, certainly watching the wrong video. Seb. Ignore him. We are outcasts and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. Then he is a fool. Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. Pick up some wood. So basically you make everything yourself really. You make all your own arrows. 
um, traps and things like that. There, see them? These are called striders. So you want to be carrying plenty of wood. Why do you chase them off? Um, but again, you can kind of do watch. To show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Rocks. Why? Yes, sir. Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I'll, I'll show rocks. you how to use them. So I think you can Good. carry. That's it. Those will do. Ten Follow. rocks, I believe. And they are actually quite handy at times, especially to begin with. You want to split robots off from the pack. We're going to go around and collect as much as we can. Since there should be an abundance here. And we need some more. That. We're not going to stay a kid forever. <laughs> Stop wasting time. Well, I'm not wasting time. You said rocks. I'm getting rocks. Aloy, over here. There's the herd. All right, it's time to throw some rocks. But rocks can't hurt machines, right? No, but they can distract them, draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy, unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. I'm trying to remember what I'm doing here. My muscle memory is all God of War at the moment. And let go. safe now. Harvest the kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Use the stalks as arrow shafts and metal shards for our heads. It's actually quite good. You can always make arrows on the go. It kind of just slightly slows down what's happening. So there's a lot more good. free You'll flow to stuff that you're you doing. You there's Let's no put those arrows to having use. to go into pause Fun. menus and breaking up the flow of the game. This is where the focus comes into really useful. So it highlights vulnerable spots on the machines. And I'll show you the um, the notebook. Let's just tick all those off. They're the things we collected earlier. That's the Isaac birthday. So these are the machines. So each one gives you like a tab of what they're vulnerable against. So weaknesses to fire and tear. And then the loot you're going to possibly get from them. You'll always get the white stuff, usually. 
um, and the rest of it can be a bit hit and miss. But you can upgrade to make those things more likely to get. So really the blaze canisters and the eyes for these, these aren't hard machines to kill. I'll ignore that for the time here. How did you guess that? The device. It showed me. That plaything? Stop playing games. Now, take down that strider. Target the eye or the canister. And if it's a good strike! Kaboom! I hunt, I make kill. I go collect that first. So blaze is used for things like fire, making fire arrows or, you know, fire equipment with. We will loot, so we get some metal shards. They're basically the currency used to arrow, make arrowheads out of those, as it's explained. Um, and also, that's the prime currency in the game. You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. So there is a bit of farming involved that? in this game. That boy! Especially early on, we want to build up our um, oh, metal shards. Oh, right, we'll follow Rost. And now we'll learn the second most useful thing about the focus. And once you're locked into sprint mode as well, jump in and roll in, you'll still be in sprint. So you'll have to untoggle it if you want, but it's pretty good because a lot of games, you know, you'll jump or something and it'll take you out of your sprint mode, which can be frustrating. Sorry, but I'm pretty sure he would be dead. I can do nothing. It's only a matter of time before the machines find that boy and kick him to death. But if I shoot, it will cause a stampede and it will trample him. I can see the path they take. Stop telling stories. I'm not. I can sneak through. You will not. Tag their tracks. We can see the path they're taking. I should really wait, but I'm going to probably risk a run across. He's next. I've got time for that one. Okay, let's go. On which. Go, go, 
we go. I need to see their paths. Almost there. Okay. There he is. Hey. What? Sounds like there's only one next to us. It's right there, right behind. <laughs> Get in the bush, get in the bushes. I think he stops there and turns around or something. Okay, he's still going. Let's go. Mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. That's right. Boy! Save me. I, I just want to... Boy! Seal your lips. They are outcasts both. And she is motherless. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. Uh, right, so this doesn't really make any difference, to be honest. Um, there's no real consequences. You have um, different... You'll talk to that kid again later when he's a bit older. So this will have an effect in that conversation. But generally, it doesn't really change anything. Um, so it's more how you want to play your character. Um, so I'll go... I tend to go for more heartfelt stuff. Um, but for this one, I'll go intelligence. Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you to me. So the matriarchs, they know? <sighs> it's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? 
There is a way, perhaps. So tell me! It would be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care! How do I do it? Tell me! The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves. But to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever right it then. takes. Yeah, it's time for a montage. I win the proving. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it'll take years. Start training. It won't really take years. Yes. Follow. It'll take like three or four minutes. Because we've got a montage. Rost? 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. Okay then, so that's the end of part one, really. I'm recording all this on PlayStation 5. Um, which only allows me to do an hour at a time. Um, I'll try and get a full hour's footage in each time, if I can, and I'll just pick up each one where I left off the last one. So hopefully if you enjoyed it, leave a like. If anybody's watched it, probably not. Um, in which case, if there's nobody there, don't bother leaving a like, because you know they exist. Um, a comment would be nice. Um, and subscribe if you are so bored you want to watch any more. <laughs> okay, take care.